Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. I was about to say all the mods eight again. Welcome back to Roguelike Adventures and Dungeons. There we go. All right, so let's see. First, I want to grab these because I can't remember what they're. How do I grab them? I punched the thing. Okay. Gathering and mining, and XP boost and magic. So I'll put the magic one away since I haven't actually tried to progress in that yet. And then I'll try and wear the this ring. Uh, which slot does it go into, though? Does it go in? I guess it go into a ring slot. There we go, and that should now give me an XP boost into mining. And I can put this other ring away since this one's not actually needed anymore. And let's see, do I have something in my necklace slot? I do not, so I might as well take this. Since it does not seem that they actually use durability just to wear. Okay. Well, I guess this episode we'll be heading back into the Atom Dimension to try and get more uh, XP boosting items. Alright, so I guess this time I will not be heading towards the city. I'll try and head away from it. I forgot to bring food. Is my backpack still full? Yeah, my backpack is still full of random junk I can use. Like 49 bread. Well, definitely going to stay mounted for a while. Since I keep forgetting to bring food and also get the specific kind of food that would help. Let's see, what is up here? This is a wraith spawner. I'll leave it alone since that's probably going to be useful later. Why do you have pillager? Why do you sound like a pillager and why do you have bunny ears? Well, I'm more interested in the answer on bunny ears, though. Pyramid. Okay, is there a door to this pyramid? There it is. This is the door, right? Observer quandary block? Okay, I'm gonna have to, uh... Into the sands. Got a bunch of rewards here. Uh, where is the one I want, though? Hmm. Oh, here we go. I need to look at Nebu torches also. These sealed structures resist all normal attempts at entry. Placing Nebu torches on these quandary blocks near the entrance will break the ancient seal. So I need Nebu torches, and I've clearly seen one of them. Brigands over this hill. Wait, what just happened? Okay, I'm confused as to how I died, so I'm going to assume that there was a lag spike at the same time as he shot an arrow. Oh, apparently there are sandstorms in this biome too. And I still wonder where those nebu torches I've seen before are, because I have no idea. Oh, and of course the brigands are still here. Well, just going to uh, run away. But I need to make it back to that village if I plan on trying to find Nebu torches, since if I found one, it has to be there. Are there brigands in the village also? Yay. Well, then, I guess that answers my question. All right, so I found the one Nebu torch that I did find before. It was in my backpack, so I think I got it out of a chest. So I think that's how I got it so easily. What's moral? But I also saw that there was apparently a Nebu ore, which I figured if I can only find one Nebu torch out of chest, and I've already opened quite a few, as you probably seen in the last episode, they're probably quite rare. So, I'm assuming that the ore is probably as rare as diamonds, and maybe as low as them. But I figure at least the ore wouldn't have to go find like a hundred thousand chests to find, find just one more. And supposedly to open something on the inside, I also need an additional four. I need four to open, or I need four to open the one on the inside, and I need two to open the outside. So, preferably, I'd like to get six. 
There's something in here? No, it's just decorative sand. But while I was digging down, I found this mine shaft not too far from surface or spawn. We spawn for this dimension. Nope. Alright, so I guess there's not really particularly anything on this floor. This is all supposed to be the roofing for another floor. I think up there. Some head. Oh, i get rid of this, whatever this is. Stone guard. Okay. Drop. Oh, no sense in killing off something that gives me items that seem like they're the only way to get them. Small granite rock. Okay. Something behind this wall. I guess it's behind this wall and down? Yep, there's the next area. Now I just need to dig it out so I can actually get down there. More of that moral stuff, whatever that is. Okay, so there's stuff that way and stuff this way. I'll go this way first. Because this way didn't have a large sounding growling creature. Well then, that'll be a quick way down. Nope. That looks like they're taking the expressway down. And I now have a very cheap way of fighting them. Ooh, combat level up. Another hole in the ground. Guessing Nebu Ori really does spawn low down because this, I'm not finding anything. I'm not finding anything all the way up here. Uh, more relic ore. This looks awesome. Just gives you random relics. Yes, the second Nebu Torch. Here I said I was gonna go looking for the ore, and here I here I am finding it in the chest. And I don't know why I'm sort I don't know why I'm picking and choosing when I can get whatever the heck I want out of the chest. Wait, why do I have Did I not wear them? Now I'm confused. Why are they here? Oh, they aren't auto re equipped when I die? Oh, well, I need to try and die less than. There we go. Just playing some spleef with stone guards. No, 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 no. What's wrong with this one's head? I guess that's what I get for insulting it. More area to explore that I could have just gone to anyway. Oh, relic ore. Oh yeah, that's right, my mining, if I level it up enough, I can get extra relics, too. Oh, that seems overpowered. That mining skill now seems even more overpowered. I can use it, use my mining skill to get even more mining skill. Is this what I'm looking for? Nebuor! Finally got the Nebuor I wanted. Now I should be able to make Nebu torches. And actually complete the dun complete that pyramid. I hope there's no cobwebs in that pyramid. Yeah, that's all of them. Okay, now to wash through all these. That's right, gotta hold shift. Oh, they also break? Okay. Oh, even with them breaking, I'm still I'm still getting a Pretty decent set of stuff.
All right, so what all did I get? I now have a Silver Idol, which is a 1% boost in combat. Not too useful, but better. Silver Ring, not going, not advantage over Emerald. Silver Brooch, 1 Endurance. Emerald Brooch, 15 in Endurance. Diamond Bracelet, which is a 20 in Archery. And a better Necklace for Magic. So I'm going to grab the Necklace, the Bracelet, and then... The emerald ring and the emerald brooch. And I have no idea what to use these coins on. Can I, I can smelt them down the gold nuggets. But I don't think that's the best use for them. Oh yeah, because you can trade with them. Alright, necklace. Necklace goes on up here. I wish these would actually... I wish I could shift these into slots. And now finding the slot for the brooch is going to be a pain. Slot charm. That's all it says. Down here? Yep. Alright, so now I have a bunch of different boosts in levels. And I still don't have those desert pants. Or desert iron pants. Do I have a... I should have iron in here somewhere, right? Yep, iron leggings. And I'd rather not use an enchanted one because I don't think I can get the enchant out of it. And then I need to find that block that lets me make, make the stuff I need. Oh, well, I found the rest of my chest. It's the block that's similar to the loom, but it's not the loom. Where is it? Do I not have any? I know I grabbed at least one. Oh, wait a minute. Is it in here? Yep, spinning wheel. Okay, looks like this is not a direct interactable block. Okay. So I need to make wanderer leggings, which is made out of bolt of linen cloth, which is made out of linen thread. Linen thread is made out of cloth scrap in here. Or cloth scrap in the spinning wheel or flax and I can get cloth scrap from mummified fish which do I have any I don't think I do so never mind about making those pants but I did see I do have spare pants and since I at least can wear iron now full set of armor yay oh yeah get some of the cakes Let's see, so fruits are a bit higher, cake does not, apparently cake cannot, does not contain sugar, and I still need veggies, so I still need veggies and sugar, mostly. And since cake does not contain sugar, no point in carrying it on me. Alright, made it back and I'm already being chased. Uh, nope. Run! Why are they everywhere? All right, and open. Didn't open it. Well, time to head back again. All right, so I managed to make it in this time. Torch, 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 torch. Okay. Now that this place is lit up, I should be able to deal with all these forsaken enemies. And they are a lot less deadly than the nomads and brigands outside. All because these don't carry weapons. Knowledge of Death 2! Oh yeah, and I have to re-equip all this stuff again. All right, that goes there, that goes there, ring goes here, brooch goes down here, okay. Now, oh, what are you? Iron Desert Boots died. Oh, I can dye this armor? What is this? Golden Desert Wolf Armor. Oh, so I can tame a desert wolf? That's gonna be a goal, I guess. Especially if I can actually put armor on one.
All right, and I'm gonna put re the one regular torch I have away. Unlit. If I pick it up, place it back down. No, no. All right, time to head down a floor. See what's down here. Other than sand, it seems. That scared me. Okay, so there are traps down here. Got it. I see you. Oh, and I can't break them? I just have to deal with it. Okay. Oh, that's a different one. Smoke trap. Uh, tar trap? Man, this place really wants me dead already. Car trap, smoke trap, okay. Smoke trap, I'm safe. Well, this is a maze and a half already. Dead end. I have to go this way. I have to go past the trap. Okay, smoke trap, I'm safe. Where does this path go? Car trap, safe. 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 Okay. Well, that's the only spike traps it seems are near the entrance. Car trap, smoke trap. Poison trap, there's one that's deadly. Burning trap. Let's see. There's really no way to disable that. Yep, and here's my death. Ah, uh, time to go back in again. All right, so I'm back in the dungeon. I found my way down to the second floor. This seems like a very trap build room. Okay, good. The chests aren't also mimics. Oh, come on. Of course I stand on the trap anyway. Oh, I should have bread in here, right? Where is it? There it is. But I found the way down to the second floor because my stuff, apparently, when I respawned, it moved down, or when I died, it moved down to this floor. There was nowhere to place it on the other floor. Also, was that an arrow trap? Yeah, that's an arrow trap. Okay. Yep, should not have rushed in here. Then again. At least this time I know the way back down. It's gonna be a lot of deaths. Alright, so I barely made it down again. I still need to re-equip all my XP boosters, which is annoying if they unequip every single time. Alright, bracelet, ring, charm. Alright, so I finally made it here. And just going to pick up these Nebu torches, since I'm assuming they just say unlit, I can relight them with a flint and steel or something. And these torches are expensive. Torch, 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 torch. <laughs> you know, I was expecting it to open. I wasn't expecting... A giant scream and a highly fast death machine with minions to sp just spawn. Okay. Oh, this video is basically a giant death compilation. I think I've already had, what, 10 deaths in this at one episode? This dimension is clearly not meant for beginners. Time to run all the way in. So, yep, managed to make it back in here. 
I'm just fighting the boss who I managed to get in just the perfect position to where he can't snipe me. I really hope this pays well for doing all this. Because you gotta get special torches to open the door. You gotta get, and then you gotta go through them and have to make sure you have four extra torches to go through to open the sarcophagus. Then to open the sarcophagus. When you open the sarcophagus, the giant boss spawns. And all that after going through a maze and a death trap maze, too. Alright, the main boss is dead. Now I just gotta deal with all the minions. Oh, my sword broke. Uh, Iron Dagger, go! All right, so I guess this room collapsed. That's what. That's why this stuff is here. But there is a lot of treasure in there. Wow. So just going to throw all this back in here. Oh, and score! I got some cloth scrap. ATM's bouncy? You can catch rare and unique fish in the ATM. I can catch... I can catch the mummy fish, maybe. Bunch of relic... Dirty relics. Another pair... Or a pair of golden desert boots this time, and I need to re-equip my stuff. Really wish I didn't have to make sure I was at least visible to put the... Put the equipment on that or if it went back in its slot after oh just gonna steal the sarcophagus steal these because these seem useful to have an have an observer that can only be opened by a certain block why why are they everywhere I'm some shovel. Ooh, an iron desert chest plate. I don't have many of those. What kind of war zone is this? Well then, at least this time I got the sarcophagus. Oh, this is probably just gonna be running back over and over to get my stuff. So I'm just going to uh, cut, just going to cut all this out. So back on the silly pad. So if you enjoyed this episode, thank you for watching this uh, death compilation, basically. Thank you for watching. Bye.